So how do we create content? So this is the question that's always asked. How do we create content? And it's really relatively simple. Okay? Each pillars of content that we discussed on, on the previous slide. Okay? See this here? My presentation I'm giving you this morning can become one of them. My talk, my words I use, can become quotes on photos. <laughs> what I say can be written as a blog. If we wanted to, I could turn this presentation, conversation, and I could write it into a book. Visuals, we could use charts, different stuff I talk about, different techniques, and put it into a visual chart. Video, that's being created right here. Sound, we could turn this into a podcast, and it could even be played on the radio as an interview. So, how do you create content? It's everywhere. It's just a matter of being aware of what is you're gonna create, okay? So, read books. Does everybody here read books? Yes. Yeah, what kind of books do you like to read? Sal salsa for dummies, <laughs> Bi 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 biographies. Yeah. yeah. Good. Paulo Huelo, that the guy, Brazilian guy. No. Paulo Huelo. No. no. I like him. He's a good guy. <laughs> Interview orders. So you can sit down with someone who's an expert in their field. Say, look, I want to sit down with you for thirty minutes, half an hour. I want to learn everything you know about such and such topic. If you're an expert in making glass, you could be an expert in water, technology, clothes, whatever. You sit down with them, you interview with them, and you extract their knowledge for, for 30 minutes, okay? Attend events. So everybody here now could take a nice photo of me afterwards. I'll smile. <laughs> and you could take a picture, and you could post it on LinkedIn. And that's creating content. Make sense? So, and you take your notes on the event, you get ideas, and you could, what, what you've learned here today, there's no reason why you couldn't blog about that tomorrow. So that's, it's just, key focus is on an awareness of how you can create content. Ask the audience, okay? So you're here now, and if I want to know something to create content, I ask you folks. Because in order for me to create my content, what was the first thing we did? Before we even got into the telling, telling you what I failed and telling you some things about over delivering and over promise and that kind of stuff, the first thing I did was, I asked you what it was you expect. Okay. Because if I, if I, if I, go, I go around the room and I ask each and every one of you folks, what do you expect from th this morning's session? Okay. And if you say that, you know, I want to learn how to write a blog. And you say, I want to learn how to write a blog. And you say the same thing, I want to learn how to write a blog. Okay, cool. So now, now I know this side of the room wants to know how to write a blog. Whereas if you folks say, I want to create videos, I want to learn podcasts, I want to do this. Now I know that, that, you, you, folks, that you folks want to focus on the video element of things. So now I know when I'm starting my session that my content going forward for this session should be only about blogs and videos. There's no point of me standing up here telling you how great the newest electric car is. Okay, so you have to ask the audience so that way you know what to deliver for your content. Make sense? Perfect. So, oh yeah, so the next thing is content recycling. As I said, this can be turned into anything you want it to be. Because, you know, fresh content all the time is not going to be easy. But using what you already have, remember I said earlier, sometimes it's about what you have, not what you don't have. And then using what you have gives you what you don't have and brings you close to what you want by using what you have. Okay? So.